Hi everyone, welcome to another crochet tutorial with me, Laura. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make this teeny tiny little mushroom. And you can make this mushroom in any colors that you like. You can make it more like a little mini portobello mushroom in brown, different two shades of brown. Or like in today's video, we're gonna do a little agaric mushroom, so the little red and white one. So we're gonna need some yarn, obviously, and I'm using a DK light worsted weight yarn, so that's a yarn weight of three. And uh, I've just chosen a red and a white. And with that, we're gonna be using a 3.5, uh, three millimeter crochet hook. I think we'll go for a three millimeter with this yarn. But you can use any yarn yarn and hook size that you like. So you're also going to need a little bit of toy stuffing or some yarn scraps as well as a yarn a yarn needle and some scissors as well. Okay so let's begin. Yeah. <laughs> let's begin. I can't get my words out today. So we're going to start with the top of the mushroom and you can either work in a magic circle or a chain four whatever you prefer to do. So I'm going to do the chain four method just because it's easier for beginners and uh, let's begin with a slip knot. So let's do a little slip knot and we're going to chain four. Let's chain one, two, three and four. So we're going to chain four and slip stitch in your first chain. Let's put your hook into the first chain, bring the yarn through the chain and through the loop on your hook to do a slip stitch. And you've got a tiny little loop of chains and in the middle into there we're going to work eight single crochet. And I like to do a little chain one just for leverage so but we're not going to count that as a stitch. So then we're going to put our hook into the middle. Be careful not to put it into the first chain which can look bigger. I want to go right into the middle and just wrapping it around the chains, we're going to do a single crochet. So this pattern's in US terminology, in UK terminology, that is a double crochet. We want eight of those, so that's one. Let's do another one. Two. Three. Four. Seven. Squeeze another one in there. Eight. So we've got eight single crochet. And if you worked into the centre, even if the chain fold loop, you should be able to still pull that centre closed a bit, so like I just did there. And then we're going to slip stitch into our first single crochet. So two, four, six, eight. Find the first single crochet. And we're going to just slip stitch into there to join the round out. I know some of you have asked, why do I always join the round and not work continuously? And it's purely just for beginners um, because it helps you just to remember where the end of the round is. So you can work continuously if you prefer. Just be careful when obviously changing colors, you will get a disjointed color join if working continuously. So it's entirely up to you, but you can always interchange between working in the round continuously or joining the round. It makes no difference. So. What we're going to do now is we're going to do a little chain one for leverage and we're going to do starting in the same stitch we just slip stitched into, get back in there, do two single crochet. Let's do one and another one in there in the same stitch. It's two single crochet and we're going to do two single crochet in each stitch around, so two in each. So we're going from a stitch count of eight to 16 we're doubling up. Okay, so there's two in there and then two in the next one. So two single crochet in each stitch around. One and two. Okay, it's coming up to the last stitch. Two single crochet in there as well. And then it always looks like you've got an extra stitch left, um, but that's your previous slip stitch or the fake stitch as I like to call it. So we're gonna skip that, skip the tiny chain one you can't see. And in your first single crochet, we're gonna slip stitch into there to join the round. Okay, so you've got a little circle like that. And then we're gonna do two rounds of one single crochet in each stitch around. So starting with a little chain one and starting in the same stitch we just slip stitched into, we're gonna do one single crochet 
in each stitch around. So just one in each. We're going to keep a stitch count of 16. We're going to do that for two rounds. Okay, so two rounds of one single crochet in each stitch around. Two rounds. So I shall do that and then I shall come back. Okay, so just coming up to the end of the second round and slip stitch to join. And we're going to stop there. So you want to push it out this way towards you. And I've done two rounds of just one single crochet in each stitch around. So still got a stitch count of 16. And you should have something that looks like this. And we're going to stop there, but we're going to leave a little bit of tail for sewing. So we're going to need use the red to sew. We're going to pull that through. Okay, so we've got this little red top like that. And what we're going to do now is we're going to create the uh, little white bits on top. Now I did little tiny knots here but they ended up being a little bit too big so I'm going to make smaller knots this time. Uh, this one was actually done on an Instagram live. I do live lessons over on Instagram so do check me out on Instagram if you have Instagram at happy berry crochet because I do lots of live lessons and various live crochet chit chats and things and behind the scenes and you can get to know me. Whoops, you can get to know me over there if you want to. So I was going to cut a few short lengths of white. I won't do too many. We'll do, let's do about five shall we? Okay, and we're going to tie some little knots into the middle. So, little knots, we'll just do two this time. This one, on the last one, I did three knots, and it's a little bit too big. So, I'm going to tie two knots on top of each other and do that for every strand. Okay, so I've done that for every strand, and then what you want to do is take a strand and a yarn needle, take a yarn needle, and we're going to thread one end and then just randomly on the top of your mushroom we're going to thread one end in and the knot will catch on the outside and we'll do the same with the other end. And you can use um, French embroidery knots if you want to or you could just sew little dashes lots of different ways of doing it so and then oh I've come through the actual stitch we don't want to do that okay and you can secure it on the inside with a little knot and we're going to trim this down because we really don't want to stuff the top of this so we're going to cut that right down to minimize the scraps and we can use those for stuffing it later okay so there we go and we're going to repeat that for all the other strands okay there we go so i've repeated that all for all the other little knots and hopefully got something that looks like this okay we can use all these little scraps for stuffing later now we're going to move on to the base so we're going to grab the white you could use a light brown as well if you prefer tiny up to you and we're going to do the same thing again we're going to start off with a chain four loop so hopefully you can see okay with the white yarn but we're just going to do exactly the same thing we're going to just chain four one, two, three, and four. Slip stitch into your first chain to form a loop. And into there, we're going to work eight single crochet again. I'm going to do a little chain one for leverage like we did last time. Find the middle, so not the chain one hole, the actual middle. Then wrapping it around the chains, do eight single crochet so one two and the last one eight and hopefully if you've worked into the middle you should be able to still bring in that hole slightly this is why a magic circle can be better i did use a magic circle on this one so it does make a smaller hole if you can do that, I do recommend using the magic circle. But two, four, six, eight, we're going to slip stitch into our first single crochet to join the round. Okay, so we've got eight single crochet in there. Okay, I'm just going to trim down this tail end, stop that getting in the way. Use that for stuffing later. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do a little chain one and we're going to do one single crochet in the first three. So starting in the same stitch we just slip stitched into, do one single crochet in the first three. So one, next stitch, 
two, next stitch three, then we're going to do two single crochet. So in the next stitch we do two single crochet, so one and another one in the same stitch, two. Okay, so you've got two in there, and then we do one single crochet in the next three again. So one, two, three. Then in the last stitch we do two single crochet. So one and two. It's two single crochet in there and that see it always looks like you've got one stitch left but that is a fake stitch it's your previous slip stitch so we ignore that find your first single crochet and slip stitch into there if I can get in <laughs> slip stitch in to there okay and you want to start pushing it out towards you again. Now we're going to do two rounds of one single crochet in each stitch round. So do a little chain one. Starting in the same stitch you just slip stitch into, do one single crochet and do one single crochet in each stitch around. You should have a stitch count of 10. I've only added two extra stitches this time instead of 16. So a stitch count of 10. So do one single crochet in each stitch around, keeping a stitch count of 10. And we're going to do that for two rounds. Okay, two rounds. Okay, so coming up to the end of round two. So I've just done two rounds. And then we're going to slip stitch to join in our first single crochet. Okay, so it's getting a little bit fiddly. It's only got 10 stitches to work with. But now what we're going to do is we're going to do a decrease round. So, so we're going to start with a little chain one and we're going to do one single crochet in the first three stitches. So starting in the same stitch just slip stitched into. Do one single crochet, one single crochet in the next stitch and one single crochet in the next stitch and then we're going to single crochet two stitches together these next two but i'm going to do the invisible decrease because it looks much nicer on a small project so for the invisible decrease which uses less yarn we're going to go normally we go under both loops like that but we're just going to go under that front loop then we're going to go straight under the next front loop as well so under the front loop then the next stitch just under the front loop. So you're under the two front loops, next two stitches, and then bring the yarn under those front loops and yarn over to do a single crochet. And that single crochet is two stitches together. I've done a video in more detail of the invisible decrease, but if you prefer, you can just do a normal decrease. Then we're going to do one single crochet in the next three. So one. It doesn't help that it's with white yarn. I've tried turning the light off and using a dark background and it's still not clear, so I really hope you can follow along. Should have just gone with a brown base, but... Uh, so one single crochet in the next three, and you should have two stitches left. And we're gonna single crochet those together as well. So we go under the next front loop, bring the hook straight down and under the front loop of the next stitch as well. Bring the yarn through both front loops the last two stitches then yarn over pull through to do an invisible decrease then we're going to slip stitch in the first single crochet okay so our stitch count has gone back down to eight so it's quite a small hole now then we're just going to do two rounds of one single crochet in each stitch around so do a little chain one and starting in the same stitch you just slip stitch into, do one single crochet and do one single crochet in each stitch around, keeping a stitch count of eight. We'll do that for two rounds. So one, two, three. Okay, so just coming up to the end of the second round. Slip stitch to join. 
Okay, so you should still have a stitch count of eight. We've just done two rounds of just one single crochet in each stitch around, so nice and simple. Now what we're gonna do is do a little chain one and we're gonna do two single crochet in each stitch around. So starting in the same stitch you just slip stitched into, I'm gonna do two single crochet, one and two and do two single crochet in each stitch around. So we're gonna have a stitch count of 16, doubling up. So one and another one, two. And two in the next stitch. Up to the end, 15 and 16. So we've done two single crochet in each stitch around and we're just going to slip stitch in that first single crochet. Hopefully it looks something like that. So we've just doubled up our stitch count. Then we're going to cut that. We can cut that quite short. Just pull that through. And now what we're going to do, we're going to stuff the base. I'm going to use all these yarn scraps I had earlier. First thing I'm going to do is get this end to the inside and just neaten that off. I'm going to go into that last stitch again. Just give that a little pull and then I'm going to push that down with some blunt scissors onto the inside. And use it as stuffing. So I'm going to stuff the base of this mushroom and then I shall come back. Okay, so that was a perfect little amount of leftovers for stuffing. And uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to just join the two together. So we get the top part and using our long tail we left here, get our yarn needle. We're going to sew the top to the bottom. First thing we're going to do is we're just going to go into this stitch. And what I like to do is rather than go through the whole stitch like that, I'm just going to go under the top loop and then I'm going to find the bottom loop of that stitch. So instead of going through both, find the bottom loop, start anywhere on the mushroom and slowly sew the two together. So top loop of the next stitch and bottom loop of the next stitch and just do a whip stitch all the way around to the beginning. Okay. okay, so when you're finished, it'll look a little something like this, which looks a little bit odd, but this is why we don't stuff the top, because what we're going to do now is we're just going to push the bottom into the top, so it looks more like a mushroom. And you can secure this with your leftover tail. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to secure this, we're just going to go up to the top and then go down, right down through the middle and give it a little pull. And that should help that stay in the top, but not too much. We don't want to distort it too much. And then I'm just going to cut our end and then hopefully that will disappear on the inside. Go in there, there we go. And there we are, there is our tiny little agaric mushroom and to go with our other little agaric mushroom and like I said you can make them in different colours. I did one in brown which I probably should have done on camera. I wanted to show you the more fun agaric mushroom though um, to make a little portobello mushroom. It's really really cute and it can go with our little collection of mini fruit and veg. A little mini pumpkin which was in my last tutorial and also on my channel I've got mini strawberries <laughs> so we're getting a right little collection. So if you've got any ideas for more mini fruit and veg then do let me know in the comments below but hopefully I will see you soon for some more crochet fun. Thanks for watching guys. Bye! <laughs>